Hello everyone, Mr. Kinor here. Today we are going to work with this math pattern that you see on my screen. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. If we kept going, we'd have uh, 55, 91, and the pattern just increases from there. This is called the Fibonacci sequence, and it's a number pattern where if you take the previous number and add it to that number, you get the next number. So if we start here at 1, or actually even here, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, and so on. So the interesting part about this whole sequence is if we represent it with um, perfect squares geometrically, we get this really awesome pattern where uh, if you line it up correctly, they all sort of fit together. And I'll show you what I mean, because we can represent this using Tinkercad. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to use pyramids to represent this. Um, I'm going to start by having our first perfect square actually be 10 by 10, not 1 by 1, just because we're in millimeters. And 1 millimeter by 1 millimeter is extremely tiny, although we are going to get very big from here. Uh, let's all just use the color of the rainbow, too, to represent each number that's in the pattern. So we start with 1, and I'm going to copy and paste. And then this is going to be the next number in my pattern. So let's make it orange. So we have 1, we have 1, and then 1 plus 1 is 2. And so if I represent 2 using 20 right here, so 2, and then 2 times 2. Remember, we're doing perfect squares, so we're multiplying it by itself. So we now have 1, 1, 2. One, our 1 plus 1 was 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So now if we do 1, we take a pyramid. Let's make it green. And now we make it 30 by 30. Here's what I mean by having this nice little geometric where if we keep kind of rotating this around, we spiral these perfect squares out, the length of the perfect squares are going to correspond, they're gonna line up with the previous two numbers. Obviously, it's a math pattern, so it's gonna fit, but it's kind of cool when you actually lay it out and see it for yourself. So the next number, right, we multiply, or we add the previous number, so we have three, we add two and we get five. So we're going to make one that's 50 by 50. Let's just make sure that kind of went out of my screen. So there we go, 50 by 50, and we line it up. And then the next color of the rainbow is blue. And then 5 plus 3 is 8. So now I need a pyramid, and we're going to go 80 by 80. So let's... Uh, let's Get way out nice and big, 80 by 80, and see how that just kind of fits perfectly right on here. Roy G. Biv, blue, indigo, violet. So we got our indigo, we'll just represent that as purple. And we can also kind of see that not only do we get this cool little spiral between the peaks if we look down on the shape, we get this where it starts here, and we can kind of, if we connect all the tips of the pyramid, it spirals out. But we also get the cool spiral effect, too, just by looking at the height of the peaks. So it's this nice little uh, three-dimensional view of the Fibonacci sequence. Anyways, you could keep going with this math pattern. We are at 8. The next one would be 13, so you can make a pyramid that's 130 by 130. And then 210 by 210, and you can keep going and going and represent the Fibonacci sequence using pyramids and Tinkercad. All right. I hope this was exciting for you, and I hope you have fun doing some math art in Tinkercad.